Good morning, it's show day. Oh my gosh, it's here, it's finally here. I slept so good. Um, I think I got probably like seven and a half hours, maybe eight. So I feel good. I feel well rested, even though this bed is not comfortable at all I still slept good so that's good I don't feel tired I feel well rested but I'm gonna get up soon and do my check-in send that to my coach and then have my coffee touch up my tan and start getting ready so it is like 5 45 in the morning on saturday so the only appointment i have is 9 a.m for my makeup and i have to be completely ready because after i get my makeup done i'll have to go straight down um stairs to backstage so yeah and I have to switch rooms too, so I have to pack up and everything, so that should be fun. I still, mm, I might just cave and get have this room again for tonight, see if I can, if not, then, then I'll switch rooms, so let's get going. tablespoon of honey with two ounces of chicken so I'm gonna chow down on this and then start on my hair so my tan turned out pretty good I didn't have to do any touch-ups this morning so I'm gonna wait to do my top coat until I the last minute because that's what it says to do so Honey, so good. All right, the hair is done. Looking nice and big. I'm not gonna comb through it so it does look a little crazy right now. Just because it's very like done up. But here it is. Oh yeah, you can see my lovely gray spot. <laughs> I just, Gave that to the internet. Oh well. <laughs> Everybody has grays at some point, right? So I clipped up my hair so that way it gives me, keeps my volume. I can keep it up, there we go. So it keeps my volume and then before I go on stage, I'll finger through my hair so it doesn't look so like perfectly curled and yeah so now i am walking around praying for the little poop fairy to come because she has not visited yet and i don't feel bloated or anything but i know it'll be good if i can go um so just walking around my hotel room it's actually pretty nice that the hotel room is like a whole like living area and then a bedroom too so I have room to walk around so I don't have to walk around 
outside like in the hotel hallways and stuff so I can stay nice and in my privacy but yeah so just hanging out um, it's about 8 20 30 right now and I've got about 30 minutes till I'll go and get my hair done and then I'm trying to decide if I want to put my top coat on now or if I want to put it on after I get my makeup done um, just because I'll be done around 9 45 and pre-judging doesn't start till 10 and there's a few classes before bikini so I think I'll have time to do it right after my makeup so then it's nice and fresh because on the instructions it does say to wait until the last minute that you can to put on the top coat so we will see let's give you a physique update so here we go all right not very good lighting here but the abs are here kind of wish I could poop but We're not gonna pull down the pants because we're naked under here and we don't need no flash in the internet. But again, look at these cute little PJs. Look, he still got my bonnet on. Do I need to put my wig on?
volume for sure. So, of course, I got first call outs because they didn't have call outs in my class. But I did hold center, so that's a good sign. And um, I kept seeing the judges point at me and like talk, like talk together and like point at me. So that was a good feeling. I did have a little bit of shakes on stage, um, probably just because it's been like 10 months since I've been on stage. So. Glad to get those jitters out before um, we do some other shows. But yeah, so um, going to wait till the rest of the team is done with prejudging, and then we'll go back to the room and chill, and then have a photo shoot, and then just wait around for finals. So I am gonna get my pee cup here and gonna use the restroom, and then head back over there. So catch you on the next slide.
State and Hawkeye Classic Championship Trophy in bikini to number 38. Metal in a pretty tiara. And the best part of it all is I won the overall. Guys, I won the overall. In my seven years of competing, I've won my class and I've always lost the overall. But this year, I did it, I took it, and I feel so great. I like, I want to cry. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I jumped into the show. And yeah, I just, I'm so, so, so incredibly happy. And this is just the sign, the reassurance that I'm doing something right. I'm there. I'm doing it. And we're going to do it again in six weeks and again in 10 weeks. So, or four weeks after the six weeks. So, 10 weeks from today. We're doing it again. Six weeks from today, we're doing it again. I can't wait. This is a great start to the season. This is this is gonna be the year. I'm doing it. I am proud of myself. I'm proud of my teammates. I am so proud of the Glam Girl team and what we are made of and what we bring to the table. We've got so many compliments backstage from other people saying that our team is just wonderful and welcoming and that is all what we are about and so it, I'm just I'm proud I'm happy and I'm ready to go eat so let's go eat let's change into a little dress and I'll take you to dinner with us. Or 
off of his camera after we took them and oh man there are some good ones I'm so excited to see them actually like posted but um, yeah so this weekend was just so amazing and I'm so blessed so grateful so happy for my teammates my coach everybody that supports me and I just I just love doing this. I love that this is my life. I this is my job. This is my career. This is my hobby. This is just everything and I I love it so so much. So yeah. Here's to an 8-hour drive home. Um map says it's about six and a half hours, but um with traffic and Having to stop to pee, and I'll have to stop for gas once, and of course to stop and get my meals, or to heat up my meals and eat it, because I haven't had breakfast yet. I just, I wanted to stay tight for the photo shoot, and um, I just packed up and left, because I wanted to get on the road, because it's, I'm going to get home at a decent time, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to get on the road and get going um, and then just make stops to eat so I can get home sooner, get home to my boyfriend, get home to my puppies and relax, stretch, take a bath and get recharged because I've got client check-ins in the morning and I've got to bring my best to them because my clients deserve it. So here is to an awesome weekend and awesome start to the season and we're only getting started thank you for watching I'm gonna get off the phone and pay attention to the road so drive but it wasn't that bad it just was very long I got to call my dad my mom and my grandparents so that helped the drive go by a little bit quicker but I'm glad to be home I'm glad to about to be going to bed because I am so tired I wiped this makeup off just wanted to do one last video with this amazing makeup before I wipe it off. So, look. She did such a good job. Even such a good job that I was able to sleep in it and it still looked good. And then it still looks good after all day. I mean, I am getting like black around my eyes, but all in all, we're good. And I can't have so much hairspray in this hair that I can't even like finger through it. But yeah, so we're home. We made it back to good old Ponca City, Oklahoma. Ready to get the week started next week and get right back to it. So hopefully come in with another overall win at Oklahoma. And yeah. So hopefully we go get another overall in six weeks in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Oklahoma Championships. Fun fact is it is the exact same show that I did last year with my boyfriend. We did it together just for fun and I got stuck it. So this time it's going to be a redemption show. I'm going back with improvements and they're not going to have a choice but to crown me the winner. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think like that, but at the same time, I do feel like um, I will be, be so much better than I was last year at that show, so it'll be exciting to see who shows up and how I do at that show, but other than that, it'll be another fun weekend because the doing regional shows like you want to get nationally qualified well I'm already qualified for this year so 
it's not anything that I need to get and of course then this yesterday I got requalified again so we're already qualified we're golden for sorry there's a hair in my eye um, we're golden for nationals but we are doing the Tulsa show because Sandy Williamson will be judging it and she is the head judge at nationals the one that gives out the pro cards so we want her feedback we want to know what she thinks I need to improve on and I'll have four weeks in between so I feel like that'll be enough time to make changes unless it's to build muscle and then of course you can't build muscle in four weeks so we would probably change some plans or probably not since it things are already paid for we'd probably just go and try our best at nationals but knowing that it wouldn't happen because I don't have enough muscle but last year she said at nationals that I had the perfect amount of muscle I was just too lean so this year what's really cool is I'm actually three pounds up from no I'm two pounds up from nationals already so I have put on some more size on my glutes and we will definitely make sure that I come in just lean enough and not too lean this time so exciting things hey everybody so it's May 15th a couple weeks after the show and what's happened so far is my food got bumped up a little bit i do high carb days on all training days now so that's five days a week so that's really exciting i have gotten a little bit leaner i've lost about two more pounds and so yeah everything's right on track i'm so excited we are three weeks out from the tulsa oklahoma championships and just so excited i will be having two other glam girls there with me and one of them we're gonna share a room so that'll be exciting a girls weekend have lots of friends and family and even some clients coming to watch so it's just gonna be so much fun so if you like this video comment like subscribe do all the things um, also comment whatever you want to see in the next show day vlog maybe I missed out on some stuff I was there by myself so I was trying to get as much content as I could but as I still needed to focus on you know competing <laughs> uh, but yeah so it was a lot of fun I'm so blessed and grateful to have this life and I never thought this could be possible when I first got into this bikini competition world and now I've done about seven eight shows now and it's my job I get to coach other women to the stage so it's just so exciting and I'm just each and every day I I'm just so thankful and grateful for everything that this world has blessed me with and it's just getting started like it's not even close to the end so that's what fires me up even more is knowing that I'm kind of just now starting I'm kind of just now getting into the groove of it I I really love what I do I love all the food I eat I love all my workouts I I even sometimes kind of enjoy cardio <laughs> believe it or not um, but yeah so thank you all for watching um, stay tuned there'll be lots more to come uh, next week I will be posting the team show vlog and getting all that content together and yeah so it's, it'll be exciting and we've got two more shows at least this year so I'll have two more show day vlogs and yeah so Comment what else you guys want to see, some recipes, maybe some workouts, maybe some form, um, tips and tricks in the gym. Uh, yeah, I'm an open book. Let me know what you want to see and I will try my best to give it all to you. So yeah, 
Anyways, hope you like this video. I'll throw in some the rest of the pictures that we got and yeah, so stay tuned for the team show vlog. Again, I am Coach Brittany with Glam Girl Bikini and thank you for watching.